Hi there, I'm Virginia Lindsay of Ginger Cake Patterns and Design, and today I'm going to share with you how to make this precious little bird. It's called a fairy wren, or it's supposed to look like a fairy wren. And it's a project made with scrap fabrics, with blue scrap fabrics, and it's from my book, Pretty Birds. Um, so I know this looks hard, you guys, but you can, to you can totally do this, and I'm going to show you exactly how. So let's begin. Here we have um, the, my, the book, Pretty Bird. Here's a close-up for you. And um, it's really cute. There's 18 bird projects in here, so all made with your scrap fabrics. They're just little pieces of fabric. Um, here's a seagull, the uh, woodpecker, um, a bluebird. I love that little bluebird. A kookaburro and an eagle, so all sorts of fun things. But we're going to do this fairy wren, which is looks hard but it's so easy and the way you begin is that you download when you get the book you have this little um, bitly code and you put that into your uh, web browser and this is what comes up and you just print that right off and then here in the book they tell you all the um, how to label everything it's fairly straightforward the only so just do a fun mix of your blue fabrics the only piece that not and that see all my blues I went through and I will give you this link to uh, up in the corner here. I'm going to give you a link, but so the only piece that matters is this face piece, and because you need to, your eyes need to show up. So do something fairly plain for the face piece. Here are the pieces I chose. This is the face piece I was telling you about. I just did this little stripe, and the first thing we're going to do is um, combine. Oh, so I was telling you, I'm going to give you this link up in the corner to um, this other video I have about combining fabrics. Um, so look for that. And then, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is sew these two pieces right sides together. And this is not the right way. You'll be tempted to go that way, but you want to do that little flat side, right sides together with the um, body of the bird. Put a couple pins in there to hold it in place. So this is the face and the body. And this little tip, you need to kind of curve it. So it's important that you pay attention to that. And now we're just going to sew it together. Now your seam allowance is a little less than quarter inch, about not quite an eighth an inch, but you know I would go a little less than a quarter inch. You, the, the point is to be consistent throughout the whole piece, though. Okay, and then stop just about an eighth of an inch short of the, the tip. And that's for make, putting all the pieces together since this is a multi-dimensional piece. See, so just a little short. And now put the other piece on. This is the other body piece, right sides together again with the face piece. A couple pens, pins. Make sure you get it nice and lined up here. One more pin, and then just sew that piece together. If you feel more comfortable basting before you sew, or just hand sewing, that's also an option for this, for this little bird. And you want to again stop this short of the of the end, about an eighth of an inch, so that see right there, just short. Take your pins out, and and then you just need to sew kind of the back, the spine of the bird. Those two should line up nicely, and starting at that same spot, not all the way at the end, all the way at the um, edge. Just sew it all the way through. Here we go. So this is the top of the bird. And now we're going to sew the base part. So these are the two pieces for the chest and the base. We're going to sew them right sides together. It's hard to see because this one, this colorful um, chest fabric is, both of it are, is right sides. So it's um, some of that batik and it just shows up on both sides. So, But this is right sides together. 
and we're just going to sew across those two little spots. Um, so you're leaving an opening in the middle and just sewing the edges in on that face. And now here you see the two pieces are pinned together, the base and the body. But what I'm actually going to do is baste these two pieces first because those pins are going to make it hard to sew together. So basting this is a good move to get it done um, more easily. And now everything is basted and you can see that it's there's no pins and it's going to be a lot easier to sew together. And what I like to do is start at the tip there and then sew around to the middle of the face piece. So nice and slow. Stop and make adjustments. And then kind of stop right in the middle of that face piece. Back stitch if you want. And then readjust and sew again on the you know down the other side, back to the tip again. And it's all sewn together. You can remove those base stitches if you want, but I find they don't really show up. So I'm going to open and turn things. See that little opening? So first, though, I want to trim off these. There's some selvages we should, or some extra. Not too much, though, because you've made these seams kind of small. Not selvages, just extra fabric here. And the seams, we're just trimming our seams a little. Okay, and now just turn it out through that little opening that was from the base and chest. And this is a little tedious, but you can do it. Just use your um, use your fingers and then have a tool that will work. I'm going to use a blunt pencil here. And just poke through the edge. And this, you don't have to be too... You know, this is going to be covered up by the tail feathers, but I usually like to have it nice and um, poked out. And then we have our little body piece already. And the next job, your next job is to stuff it with the um, polyester fiber fill. So you want to get this nice and full. Just keep stuffing. It's, it's going to take a little bit more than you think to get a nice full little bird. Isn't it cute? You can already see the shape coming together. And then we need to close this little opening here. This was the opening between the chest and the um, base piece. And I just do a small ladder stitch by hand. You could maybe do a blind stitch or something if you're a little bit more, if you have some more expertise with this. But I think a ladder stitch does perfectly well. You have all these colors going and it's not going to show up in a bad way. It's going to look... It's going to look just fine. So here we're doing the the tail feather. And we're just, and I did add some um, fusible interfacing. That's not in the book, but I think it makes the tail a little bit better with a little, to make it a little stiffer with the interfacing. Not necessary though, if you don't have any around. So just sew around the three sides and clip off the corners. Okay, that's done. And then you need to turn this right side out. And again, a little bit tedious because these are small pieces, but use your tools. I'm going to use that same blunt pencil. Nothing sharp here because you could poke right through, but just push gently. And then I need to fold over the raw edge, fold it inside just a little, like a quarter of an inch, half inch if you need to, and press. This does take a little bit of finger dexterity, but keep with it and you'll be fine. You know, since this isn't going through the wash or anything, you could probably just sew it right on without doing that fold over. But And now a little, like a hem stitch is what I use here. You go in and then kind of do a diagonal push across inside the body of the bird and pop back out and then go straight back into the body and then diagonal push across. I'll leave you, I'll give you a link down below how to hem stitch. And finally, let's put the beak on. Uh, we have this little piece, it's part of the pattern and I use wool felt for this, but any kind of felt will do. 
and you basically pinch it together. We're going to hand sew it again with a ladder stitch. Try to use a coordinating thread. I don't have an exact coordinating thread here, but this works pretty darn well. This is like kind of gray blue. And just a little ladder stitch to close that up. And then tie it off. And then, so in the book, I tell you to hand sew this on, but you know what? You can glue gun it on if you don't want to deal with any more hand stitching. <laughs> so just use a little glue gun, poke it right on there. The nice thing about stitching it is if you mess up, you can always go back. And if you glue gun it on, you only get one chance. And then here's my other little quick tip is I'm going to use this fabric marker. A Sharpie will work here too to make the eyes. And in the book, I tell you to kind of do a satin stitch to do the, um, to embroider the eyes on. And that looks lovely if you have time. But guess what? This looks pretty darn good too. And there it is. Isn't it precious? Okay, we did it. So I hope you had fun. I know that was like little small pieces, but um, I think, you know, once you've tried a couple times and you're going to realize how fun and easy it is. So anyway, um, I also have some other projects here from my book. Um, this was my Robin that I made. It's a little bigger. So uh, that was really fun too. And then the parrot, which I loved making. He um, was so fun to bring out those really bright fabrics. So I'm sure I have other ones around. Like I usually bring out all my little chicks from the book during um, Easter and there's this little tiny swan and all sorts of cute stuff. So I'll share a few more pictures here with you. And then you can purchase this on my website with the link below. So thanks so much, you guys. Have fun making your birds.